Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Callan Let's Play. This should be episode 95, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. Last time, in case you missed it, we were uh, buck catching, which was so much fun. <laughs> it kind of was. We actually made some decent progress. Our museum is looking better by the second. Actually, apparently have something new donated. But as you can see, like our, I think my camera is is struggling to focus today. I don't know why. I mean, same, but I don't know why. Um, oh yeah, so this one was the last one we got. So there's just a couple of open spaces here, but these are probably going to be the hardest ones to catch, so we'll see. And then before that, honestly, we spent a lot of time spreading around trees. So we put a bunch of trees around here, like by our lake, and then also around our resident services. We might kind of somewhat continue that today because I thought we could maybe work on uh, this area here. So kind of the incline going up to the farm as well as this cliff right here because I'm pretty sure that I wanted to continue our little um, mum cushion cauliflower whatever type of farm this is. So it's kind of like a nice perspective build. You can kind of stand here let's say and then uh, I don't know if we go into picture mode if that's going to be a good. Actually that's not bad. Bad. Yeah, this could be like a good picture. So, you know, you want to you want to fill the entire frame as much as you can. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't think I like this part right here. This stands out a little bit too much. I might put on my trusty little helmet for a second there and I'll just add like a piece of cliff. I don't know if maybe this was intended to be be uh, just like that because of like tree placements on the lower level. That might be the case. Um, but like the cliff is still looking totally fine like this. So I, I I would say let's just let's just maybe do it like this. OK, and then truthfully, since this is basically kind of like filler space along a path, I do want to figure out if there maybe are like a couple of um, like trees that we can place. And then also I just thought about like maybe the fountain like the oh my God, Alice, cute. So the shell fountain here is like a very upsetting item because it's like 1.5 by 1.5, I think. So it's really hard to work with, but uh, yes, because you couldn't even put it here. I thought like something halfway in front of a tree there would be kind of cute, but you can't even do that. Okay, so trees could be possible. Maybe somewhere like here or one more to the front, kind of like there. I think that should still be a tree, yeah. Maybe this is a little bit cuter. And then I guess, I mean, um, that could be a tree very much to the front there with one over here. That should work. I think squeezing past it this way does work. We did just talk about that um, like two episodes ago or so. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. And then he see this one here doesn't work though because you'll squeeze past like a cliff that's higher and then that doesn't work. Okay, so um, I want this to be like nicely spaced out, right? That's kind of always our goal. I do like a bit of like foliage going on over to the left side. So you maybe don't see as much cliff over there. Um, but then maybe this tree is actually shifted over to the right hand side. So kind of like we we initially we initially thought and then maybe we can have one here. Just like small ones. I don't know if I may be overdoing it with the trees again. Hmm. Maybe that over here is is fine. Uh, sorry, here. Because the tile back doesn't work. We've been over this. <laughs> okay, so kind of like this. But then these are kind of closed, but um, that might be okay. It's just, it would be cute if this is like a bit of a taller tree. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I guess... Yeah, I don't know. If that's a tree, like, this will be a little weird over here. Because technically, something here could be one. But it's kind of like... Yeah, that might not be super cute with like the the neighborhood like I might want to keep the neighborhood a tiny bit more open so you can kind of walk in here. What we could do is just like a tree stump somewhere here. I think that would be totally fine. Plus we can maybe do like a smaller tree just kind of there. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be OK. And then um, I guess like I mean this or this could be a tree which the one to the left is kind of in line with the tiny hardwood in the back there. Um, so maybe we could shift that over to the side a little bit or just shift it way further and kind of do like a tree here. Actually, you know what? A tree there, like a pink one, might be good to, to add a little bit more of the cherry blossom tree kind of vibe into this part right here. And then, I mean, this part right here is 
pretty much all the trees that we can do, at least on this side of it. Uh, we can do one here. Like, I think that's too close, but like here. I don't think I want that though. <laughs> and then none of these. Maybe, you know what, since I think I wanted to kind of... Um, maybe be able to hop over here and like use this as a shortcut sometimes. I might just keep that open. We might just add a couple of flowers, maybe even some planks to like indicate it. Uh, I want to see if maybe we can get a like a well or something like over to the side here. Yeah, that might be fun. Okay, but so far so good. All right, so I would say let's establish our little farm over here. So we were using the stripey design with like dark and uh, light dirt and we ended with the dark dirt. Okay, got it. So I guess we would go ahead and bring this relatively close to the edge because you could actually see this, like you could only see the starts of this, but maybe we should keep enough space so you can stand here and take a picture. Cause I think that would maybe, that would maybe make sense to be able to take a picture up there. And then, you know, we might just bring this farm out like a, a little bit more to the front, make it like a little bit bigger. I think it could be fun to have a little farm up, farm up here. Um, not really anyone is probably going to venture up here and actually like look at it. But I think it's like a fun way to fill a little bit of space without, um, yeah, without like having to think too much, if that makes sense. I, I want to get better about this. I just did an update on all of my islands yesterday in case you're interested. And um, I want to be better about like not pushing or not like pressuring myself so much to always have to come up with like a new idea and something that's like brand new, brand new information. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's It's been, it's hard because this game has been out for so long and I, we're bound to, or I'm bound to reuse some of my old ideas. You know, I keep doing like certain types of farms and honestly, uh, I kind of like it. <laughs> farms are like one of my favorite things to build. So like, why not, you know? Okay, so maybe just kind of like this and then either we'll bring this out even further or we'll use a couple of trees in front. I think trees would also be kind of cute if, you know, you can see it from down here. Probably not that much. Probably not that much. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, you walk past here and you see a little bit of the farm, which I actually think is cute. Maybe we should bring it over to the side or to the front all over the cliff. Yeah, and I mean, you don't really walk here. You don't really see the front of the cliff that much. So maybe we just add trees to kind of the right hand side and front. And we add a couple more of those farm fillers for um, like this specific space right there. Yeah, let's, can I climb up here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's do that. Okay, I think I might want to take like a tiny break here. So kind of like this will just be like an open gap and then we'll do one stripe here. I don't think I want to bring it out to the side there. So we're going to have to bring this inwards, which don't know how amazing that is, but, but sure, but sure. <laughs> All right. Maybe just the two, maybe just the two stripes there. You can kind of see it. It's I'm, Sorry, I'm blocking it. But you can you can kind of see the start of that, right? And then there would just be like a small tree like right underneath my camera pretty much. So it adds like a little bit of, of greenery to it. All right, you know what? I'm not mad at that at all. So let's kind of figure out if, actually, I don't know if I have any more cauliflowers. Uh, mum cushions, sorry. <laughs> Thought it was obvious they were cauliflowers, hello. <laughs> Um, let's check on the cauliflower mum cushion things. If not, I'll start a shopping list, but we can already kind of start planning with them because I think I did like a custom design every time. Um, I have one. <laughs> I have one full mum cushion. No, that's good. That's that's great. That's really great. And I do not have the recipe. Okay, well that kind of that's not that's not the best. Not the best start to this, but that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I will put my little storage shed over here and then we will just kind of see. So um, we've been working with like pairs of two sometimes. So, okay, I'm going to work with my trusty little custom design over here. I think it was this one, right? So that would be a cauliflower right there. Yes. Okay. And then maybe we do two next to each other right here. And then we do like two next to each other right here. So kind of like this and this. 
All right, my map is blocking it a tiny little bit. And then maybe just a singular one, like on this tile. Right there, okay. And then if we walk here, I guess it would make sense to have one right on the outside right there. So, or maybe two next to each other right there. Then one here and one on the very outside of this light dirt stripey thing okay so how many two four six eight nine i need to get nine cauliflowers oh god that's a lot okay well that's fine i get i i'll get nine cauliflowers that's okay if that's not an issue at all <laughs> and then i guess i'm gonna need hydrangea shrubs and some weeds to fill in the rest at least that's what i did for the uh other farm that i had just there so um also i can maybe order a couple more of those printed design thing shovels because they are very like very cute um why do i have so many elephant watering did i mean to gift my villagers elephant watering cans did it, was that the plan did i already do that i feel like i kind of wrapped something and gifted villagers some I, I forgot <laughs> i forgot <laughs> okay well let's get a stack of weeds i don't know if i still have any with me but i'll, I'll get a stack of weeds and I will get a stack of uh, hydrangea shrubs if I still got them. I do. Okay, hydrangea shrubs are here. And then, I mean, I guess we can maybe see if we can put in like a, a watering can. Yeah, let's put in a watering can in. Also, you know what? While we're at it, I'm going to grab a couple of trees. So regular saplings, um, cedar saplings, bamboo shoots. And then I also use fruit trees for green ones so so that's that and also fruit trees for actually wait i use pears right i i sometimes use pear trees for the fruit trees because they have green fruits duh <laughs> all right so i also would like to get a log stool and then i mean i guess a couple of like filler things i'll grab a shell partition maybe some log stakes Ooh, I really want to work, I think, on the laundry area at some point in the future. I just worry that we don't have enough space uh, or like we the space isn't finished enough for us to really like imagine it because we're still working on um, we're still working on the museum landscaping, which is going to be like right behind it. So I kind of worry a little bit about that, but we might we may take we might take a look at, uh, you know, actually creating that area in the future. OK, I grabbed a bike. Oh, and then we'll definitely get a couple of weed fields. Um, and maybe some more boxes. I definitely had some boxes downstairs. I don't know how much sense boxes make upstairs, but whatever. Okay, and then some garden rocks, etc. And that might be okay-ish for now. Um, there's still a couple of like miscellaneous things that we can work in. Oh, some stack bags, maybe. Yeah, let's grab stack bags. And then, I mean, I guess I'll go through it quickly. You know, what's the harm? Uh, I'll grab a shell for um, like filler. Yeah, and then maybe that'll be it for now. Okay, so let's see. Number one, you know what? Shell partition could be really cute, like right here. Oh, wow. I expected my pockets to be fuller. I don't even know why. You know, shell partition right there. It's just going to peek out. I don't know what tree we're going to do, um, but it might like peek out. Or we put it kind of closer somewhere here. So like it covers the cliff like a little bit better. That might be kind of cool though um i mean we can try and do a bamboo tree like a third stage bamboo so it's kind of because that one still kind of is a little bit see-through and let's see you see the shell partition maybe oh i still have these designs nice <laughs> i was wondering about that okay so this here then maybe we do a maybe third stage pink tree maybe just a second stage fruit tree over to the side here i don't know if that's going to be weird because it's almost probably the same size as the shell partition yeah that might be that might honestly be a little odd but um we're gonna take a look at it and then oh that is confusing now is it a second stage is it a third stage i don't know <laughs> okay there we go and then maybe because of like coverage of reasons this could be like a fully grown one let's make it a cedar tree that feels kind of impressive and then I think I want this one here to be like a chopped one. And actually we're going to do it. I think we're going to make a regular hardwood because they, the tree stumps are like a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, we're going to, we're going to try to do like a third stage stump and then chop it though. 
Okay, I don't think I want anything like super tall here either. So maybe we're going to try with another second stage right there. Okay, yes. And then this one, I mean, same, right? That shouldn't be too big either. Maybe this could be like a second stage cedar tree just to mix it up, add a little bit of that darker, uh, darker green color here. So yes, yeah, second. All right, and then let's see where we want to add some shrubs. Oh, actually, do you think maybe we should move this over to the side? Yeah, let's move that over to the side and then plant a hydrangea. Where's my, there we go. Hydrangea here and then custom design with a cauliflower, of course. That goes there and then we can move this cushion over to the side. Maybe I'm messing everything up right now. It might be okay though. And then, I mean, I spread the... Um, Hydrangea shrubs pretty much like around. It almost looks like I spread them around the outskirts. I don't know if that was like the intentional purpose though, or like if, if that just happened to be the way it looked. But let's put one, I mean, all the way on the outsides right there. Okay. Yeah. And then let's put one here and one here to the side. Oh my, I almost thought that was going to go into like a wrong spot. Kind of like this, you know, and then the rest of this will once again be like weeds and or uh i guess like items okay i did grab a log stool with like maybe a watering can that could be like here maybe okay let's do some leaves and then was this oh no i was gonna say was this the island where i didn't have a puddle no but that was a crack right i didn't have a crack code on this one which i keep forgetting because i i always have a crack code on every island and i always use it i don't know why i never got one here and then i mean to get one and then i totally forget it all the time Okay, a little watering can, and then this will just be like a flower. You know, I definitely would want this to just be like a little weed. And you stand there. Um, maybe this could be like a box. Like on half, half a tile, maybe? So let's also add, I guess, just some... I guess just some leaves, maybe, huh? Just some leaves, and also over to the side. And then I'm gonna grab a... A wooden box if I have it there we go wooden box and then we're gonna drag that on like half a tile here or should that be the watering can and then some wooden box here what does it look like if I have a wooden box and then like the next one like just in front of it you know kind of like we did the setup right there because I think you can see this from downstairs right a uh, wooden box yeah, kind of like this. And then maybe just some seed bags. I did grab some seed bags, right? Yes. You know, that'll be a shrub. We can put like a flower in front. I want to say that it could work. But I, I kind of feel like we need to maybe add a tree in front of the hydrangea shrub there. I don't know. That might be weird with the downstairs tree. Because I'd probably also... I'd probably want this one to be... We can add a tree here, huh? Yeah, or those are just flowers. Or maybe not the wooden box, but like we'll put the seed bags, the stacked bags in front. So it's not too... It's not too like solid. And then we'll put something smaller on top of this one. Which, I mean, we still have... We still have our watering can. That could just be placed on this instead. You know, kind of like that. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. See, and then, I mean, those could be trees. This could be a tree. But also this could be a tree. Ah, tree spots. It's so hard. <laughs> so hard to figure out tree spots. This is like the hardest thing in the game, honestly. Finishing an island, nothing compared to just figuring out the tree spots. I mean, if you figured out all the tree spots, you're almost like done, right? So, so I guess... There's that. You know what? It could just kind of be like this though. Like just the three trees there. One here. And then I guess like maybe one here and another one over to this side. Yeah, that could be it. That could be it. That could be it. Definitely wanted to put something here. What about just the log stakes maybe? Uh, no, don't punch them. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have any fencing in this area just yet. Oh. 
Oh, wait, I do a little bit downstairs. I just saw like a little bit of a wooden fence peek through. Maybe you should work with the wooden fence here then too. You know what? And then I might just put it on there. I don't know how, how weird that would look, but like, I feel like that's almost a nice visual kind of separation from all the white around it. I mean, we've got like the cauliflower or like mum cushions here. We've got the wooden box. Like everything is pretty much like a lot of, there's a lot of white. And I think maybe we need to kind of balance that out a little bit, you know? Okay, I'll spread around the rest of the weeds. Not all the same. <laughs> Does this game not understand how we decorate? I think not. Yeah, I mean, that's better. That is definitely better. Let's continue over here. Nope, want a different one this time. I want the clumpy ones. Or maybe those? No, I think I want the clumpy ones here and then those lighter ones here. No, no, just the, the other way around. Listen to me. There we go. Okay, that might be fine. That might be fine. See, and then let's maybe just put a little... Maybe we don't need that much coverage. Let's just put a bamboo shoot that's going to be like second stage, right? So it's just a little brown, uh, like little starter bamboo tree thing. Okay, I forget which one is the pink one from like the downstairs trees. This one behind it, right? Yeah, that sapling seems to be a little bit darker. So I guess this one is the pink one, which means I would not want that one right there to be the pink one. Maybe this should be like a big pink tree. I feel like, I think we don't have that many like uh, in front of Nook's Cranny either. So maybe this is a big pink tree. And then maybe this is a third stage pink tree. So we got like a little bit of pink going on on top of the cliff. I think that's still kind of uh, hidden enough for it not to like overwhelm. Uh, and then can oh wait, coconut trees. How can I forget my coconut trees? Like an entire episode was themed like adding in coconut trees. Hello. <laughs> well, I mean, we can we can maybe make this one a coconut tree. Would that be weird if this is like a third stage coconut tree? Would that be weird? <laughs> maybe. Right, I don't have any coconuts with me, of course. Oh, and then you know what? This should also be one. So this is a pink tree. This is a cedar. Yeah, let's make this a coconut and then it's not going to be second stage, but it's going to be like at least third stage. Uh, no, don't take the vine. <laughs> we need the vines on the cliffs. Hello. Okay, so at least third stage, maybe even fully grown. That kind of depends on the surrounding parts or like we might also shift them around. Yeah, that might also work. So like this one here is the coconut and this one is the pink one. We'll take a look at that. I have to grab some coconuts though. Oh yeah, let's let's just use these right here. <laughs> Very handy. Don't have to go to my storage shed. I do like that. Okay, number one is in. Also, let me just pick up my nook miles. They've been kind of annoying me for a while, but then I keep getting distracted doing other stuff. Are you the same? So are you someone who's like not bothered by the little nook mile thing or does it bother you? Because it bothers me. But like I still sometimes don't immediately erase them because I just get distracted like doing other stuff in game. And then I just, I guess I just procrastinated or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we got coconut, pink, pink, small bamboo. Um, I guess we should do like a green tree every once in a while again, huh? Yeah, so this will be like a green tree. Maybe even fully grown. Might just add like a little bit of foliage kind of standing here. And then from the front that might show up. And then, I mean... Maybe this should be like a bamboo tree. Maybe also even fully grown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you know what? The flower codes on there look very cute. I, that, that would be that would be a design in and of itself, not gonna lie. Okay, and then also, do we have another ladder maybe? Because I think I don't like the little, I don't like the little swirl that the vines have kind of from the back there because it kind of looks like a little, like a, like a pigtail. And as cute as they are, don't want them growing on my cliffs, you know? Um, I don't though. Okay, I don't have another uh, ladder. So can I make ladders is the question. Oh yeah, I can. I absolutely can. I need a ladder for that. Oh, that, that sucks. Oh my god. See, this is why I never craft stuff in Animal Crossing. You need like four of each type of wood 
and then another five regular wood see and then it doesn't even take stuff from your pockets or from your like your storage so you have to get everything in your pockets first it's like especially if you've played a game that does that you know i've been playing a lot of fey farm recently and there they just take the stuff from your your storage which is don't get me wrong sometimes they like take stuff that they're not supposed to build with but the, it's so nice and convenient uh, and i don't have a workbench and then I do also have to say that just in general, like gathering materials is also like a lot more fun in other games. I feel it is like everything combining, you know, like the way that you collect materials and then having to grab them all from your storage, put them in your in your pockets and then craft them. And then, for example, in Fae Farm, you can reclaim certain things. So if you've crafted something and you're, you've decorated with it and at some point you might remodel or you just decide that you don't like it, you can just reclaim it and you get all the materials back. And you know, those kinds of things, I feel like make it really easy and fun to gather stuff and just, you know, build things yourself. Or like also if you upgrade your tools in Fae Farm, you then end up, um, actually I need to customize it. You end up like um, getting more resources from like stone. So for example, when you hit a stone with like your initial like basic axe, uh, axe, yeah, no, don't hit stones with axes. <laughs> But if you hit the stone with like your basic like pickaxe, then um, I think you may just get like two or so out of it or maybe one or something. And then once you've upgraded your tools, you get like eight or even more stones out of it. So it's it gets like really handy and really easy at some point. And they just they just didn't do that at Animal Crossing. And so like Treasure Islands were just almost like bound to happen, really. OK, let's get rid of the little pigtail over here and add our uh, ladder setup kit. See, I mean, you still kind of see some stuff going on there, but it's kind of it's kind of cutesy, right? It's kind of cutesy. I don't mind the fence there. I really don't. I do think we need to add some fence over here. Um, maybe a flower in front of the tree, but definitely kind of like over to this side, maybe. Yeah, maybe we can add some some leaves here, and then I think we we should get the trees to grow, and then we can add a couple more fillers. How long have I been here? 30 minutes ish maybe depending there was construction stuff going on again so i i took a little break uh from it so i don't know how long the episode would be but yeah maybe like a couple of fillers i don't see that's like one thing i have to say i don't love about the let's play is because everything um because decorating takes so long in animal crossing which is fine you know but then we always like start all these things in a in a in an episode but we never really finish them because i also don't want to be stuck on the same thing for like the long for like the, the the longest time either uh let's do like a flower or something here and then add like a fence piece maybe again like two fence pieces although one of them is going to be like behind a tree is that going to bother us maybe mm, i mean single fence could work and maybe it's also kind of fine like this I got so much squeezing. Right, and then maybe... Do we just put like a little weed here, maybe? We were not using glowing moss, am I correct? I don't think we were using glowing moss on this island because that's just not really the vibe. But so maybe kind of like this. And then I believe I was also thinking about adding some pink tree over to this side here. Right? <laughs> God, my brain... My, my brain is just not present most of the time. And that's okay, you know? I don't, ha I don't have a slingshot. I never started carrying out a slingshot again. After like the initial gameplay stuff and, and having like still fun, like collecting recipes and everything, I've just, I've just completely abandoned my slingshot, let's be honest. All right, shall we at least get the trees to grow? And the shrubs, I guess. I think so. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so I will meet you again. Uh, in two days, I mean, in like two seconds for you, but like in two days in game, <laughs> and then we'll start stunting the truth. And here we are. All right. So yeah, I think the pink one, to be honest, might switch. Um, I think I do like the pink on the left hand side a little bit, but maybe against the shell partition, it's not the best. Um, I will let them grow like a little bit more because I have a feeling that um, those two switching would just work perfectly fine. All right. I did want to let that one grow, I think. This one is supposed to be stunted, so let's do that one. A little apple for you right there. Good. Uh, this needs to grow a little bit more. This is supposed to be stunted, not taken away, just stunted. <laughs> 
Okay, so I guess we'll put an apple uh, sapling in here and then we will uh, <laughs> restore a little cedar tree and then also wipe away the little code. Um, believe that one's supposed to grow a little bit further, although I kind of like it with the smaller stage too. I might like this one here with the smaller stage, honestly, just because um, it, it's like a nice combination with the other two tree sizes and it's stages growth, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, and then I'll put my simple wooden fencing back here and squeeze through, of course. Eh, eh. Okay, and wipe away this. And then I did notice when you climb up here, uh, now with the hydrangea stuff fully grown, and like obviously once we've got the mum cushions, you're literally not going to be able to walk past like this weed right here. Um... Which I don't know if that's annoying, right? But um, I guess it's okay. Like this is just supposed to be for filler purposes. And that's like the issue, honestly, with a lot of Animal Crossing stuff where like most of the time you just need certain things to be like filler. Um, oh yeah, we might actually stunt it on here then. Uh, and then it's kind of like, well, why am I bothering like with all that, it, like all that effort if like all it's gonna be is a filler. Um, which is, yeah, that can be a little bit annoying, you know, but I think fillers are kind of needed to make like other more important areas somewhat shine if you want. <laughs> All right, so the other trees, I think I'll need one more day. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and here we are. Now, I think the first thing we're going to do is get a little axe for the, um, tree stump in the background there. All right, here we go. Let's chop this one. I think that'll be kind of cute. Yes, very nice. Uh, we might be able to add like a little tree here somewhere and also maybe depending on the spacing actually no here is probably dumb because of because of the house oh but you know what no don't <laughs> god it looks so dangerous when she just whips out her axe like that maybe there does that squeeze you no you can still walk but those technically could be trees maybe i don't know i'm getting ahead of myself here <laughs> All right, so all of that was stunted. Uh, we did stun this pink one already all um, over there. And then I guess like this is a bit of a... Hmm. I do believe the coconut tree like this would be good. So I'm going to stunt that one just in front because then I can still put another like flower. Ooh, yeah. Also walking up here now is actually kind of nice. Okay, we will do what I said before, and I think I will just switch the trees around. I do like them. I believe we're going to maybe... I mean, we'll see how it works with the cedar tree. We might actually let one of them grow taller. Okay, so let's get rid of this one and this one. And then I might actually have to take a second because I have to take out the design tool, but... um. Chrissy might come over in just a little bit and bring over some of the missing uh, mum cushions. So I might wait a little bit because I can't open my design tool right now. Um, okay, let me put some stuff away again. I might need my boba coffee. I'll put away my wood though. Okay, that is looking a little bit better. So now let's take care of these, um, these trees up here. So I did not stunt this one just yet. I think that one is kind of cute, taller grown. Since we can't really see anything anyway, we might switch this tree over a tile. I might do like a bit of a change here though. I think I want to get rid of the second pink tree. So I'll get rid of this one. Maybe this will be like a cedar tree instead. And then maybe we can also leave them the way they currently are. And then that will be stunted, I think. Yeah, maybe this one will be stunted the way it is. And then this will just grow to be like a super tall tree. And maybe we also leave this one to grow one more stage. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. And then over here, we've got those stunted already. Okay, good, good. And here is Chrissy with a little cauliflower delivery. Let's go. It's kind of like a grocery delivery, right? Only that I can't, I, I can't eat the cauliflowers, unfortunately. Yay! Thank you for the delivery. <laughs> and bye-bye. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you, Chrissy. I really appreciate it. Perfect. So with that, we should now be able to fully, uh, you know, quote unquote, finish our farm. I think we're not going to finish it this episode. I think we probably are going to continue uh, next episode with like a couple of, of small like fillers. Do I have all my mum cushions? I think so. Okay, let's do it then. Also, we can quickly fix up our trees here. So let's start the island designer. 
Okay, we're gonna add the sand pathing here and we're gonna remove it right there. And then let's put in our um, large young hardwood tree. That should be correct. And then over here, we're gonna put in our coconut tree and then we're gonna take a look at it from the front. Okay, also the bamboo is already stunted, right. I mean, from the front, you know what? I almost kind of want to have the bamboo tree be smaller or maybe switch, actually maybe switch it. Can I switch this one and the bamboo tree maybe? Okay, medium young pear goes in here. This one would grow taller. And then in that case, I think I'm gonna stun, I'm gonna stun the hardwood or maybe technically it already is stunted. Yeah, I think that might be a little cuter maybe. And then our bamboo goes over here. That still might work, you know what? And then the cedar tree could be put over here maybe. Ah, I, I, I love, you know, going back on all the things that I planned on doing and just changing everything. I love that. I think it's gonna be okay though, especially if maybe we put in some wheat fields to cover up like more of the cliff part over there. So this would grow fully, right? So let's let's go ahead and put some, just some leaves down maybe. I don't know why, I, I think initially I wanted this island to actually be more like calm. And then I just started littering everything with stuff again. So I, yeah, no, no tile left behind. That's kind of the motto again on this island. You know, kind of like this, and then maybe there would be like a, a shrub and something. Maybe another shell. Or maybe the- oh, maybe the bike. I have a bike with me. Maybe not. Maybe I dropped it. But I did have a bike. Now I just have a lot of cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, I think I dropped the bike, so let's get back to that in a second. Let's focus on the cauliflower first. <laughs> and let's put that one in. So we're gonna start at the very front left here. So we got mum cushion number one. And mum cushion number two. Mum cushion number three, and I hear like a cricket again. Hate these. Okay, number four. Here is number five. And number six. I'm probably gonna have to take it apart again so that I can just access like the different areas um, to like actually put in the decorations and stuff. Okay, there we go. And then one more right here. And one more right here. All right, perfect. And with that, you know, like our cauliflower farm, it looks actually kind of cute. I like it. I like it being on the different tiles, uh, different levels, because like if you just, if you walk here, <laughs> Alice is sitting on the cauliflower. Alice, I don't think that's how farm work works, <laughs> but you're doing great. <laughs> it just looks like it's like infinity, infinity farm, you know, never ending farm. I think it's cute. I think it, I think it's cute. Also walking past the, past this is I think also kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I I it's kind of weird because I have both my camera and the map kind of blocking it. Okay, so one little walk through with uh neither of those on here. So you just see it, you know, on the right-hand side like all the time and then just standing here, I feel like the area is kind of filled nicely. I still hear the freaking cricket. There's just like a little bit more going on right here where I stand, which I think is kind of fun. You can add another flower and stuff, of course. And then if you do walk in between here, which I think you will be able to, uh, there's just a lot of like farm going on. Okay, last course of action. Let me test out the little bike here. You know what? That actually is kind of cute. Or maybe we can also shift it further to the back there. So it just kind of peeks out. I don't know. I kind of, I think I like it like halfway in front of this. I just don't know if is walking around annoying? No, it actually kind of still works. <gasps> Tutu. <laughs> Cute. Okay, considering how long the recording already is, I think this is where I will leave it. Um, and I will stand over here, up here with, you know, what we decorated today kind of in a frame and the cricket lovely, lovely cricket sounds. Don't you love that? <laughs> I will definitely continue recording though and work on you know this entire area a bit more I would love to have like a little bit of a finished farm in the next couple of episodes so um yeah I do hope you like this episode though I hope you like the start of or like the start of the extension of our already existing farm something like that I guess make sure that you're all subscribed so you don't miss like the next updates on this island and then I do hope that you have an awesome time until I see you in the next episode Bye, everyone.